everybody and it is 8 15 this morning and well it's like 8 10 and i have a call at 8 15 so i did not sleep well last night we'll talk a little bit more about that my mind was just racing and i could not turn it off so there's that uh so then I ended up buying Animal Crossing because I've heard like a thousand people talk about it at this point and I started playing it. I'll tell you a little bit more about that. To me it's like a more sophisticated version of a Tamagotchi. But um, yeah, started playing that, was up to like maybe 1 2 o'clock. So now we're awake, we're having some coffee and we're just gonna get this call started. Oh, just ended my first call. It's nine o'clock. I have another call at 10 and then a lot of work to do in between then. Um, so I'm probably gonna go and make myself some breakfast. I know that Steven just woke up and he went in his office to get some work done, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a busy, busy day. Also have some deliveries coming, a new piece of furniture that Steven's gonna put together today. So all of that is happening. It's gonna be an exciting Tuesday. So it is going on 11 and what have you missed? Another meeting. Uh, yeah, and now I just have like a bunch of work to plow through based off of the meetings. So I'm just going to go and do that now. I feel like these <laughs> quarantine vlogs are just like, I'm going to work, I'm going back to work. Um, with like some products and cooking sprinkled in between. Sometimes maybe that's what we need. All right, so I'm gonna go get some more work done and I'll probably catch you around noon. Just had these beautiful flowers delivered. They're from Urban Stem. This is called the Austin, which for all of you who know, know that I love Jane Austen and what a beautiful way to like just brighten the day. Oh, so pretty. All right, so I have closed up shop for the day, having a glass of wine. This piece of furniture was delivered. Steven's gonna put it together for me this evening and I'm going to style it. I have a couple things already sitting over there that I wanna style it with. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. What's great is it kind of matches this grayish tone of this table and it's going to go right here in this spot. Super excited. Steven has not closed, hi HR. Hi, administrative assistant, how are you today? He's a little tired. I was so busy, I've been filing all day. He's been eating all day. He has, he's had two cookies in the last 10 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Look at that tail going. Oh, I am not rubbing your belly. You are the worst assistant ever. Yeah, who just, who just lays down in the middle of the office floor? I mean, come on. Because <laughs> he's not even in his bed. He has a bed in the office and he's laying on the floor. Who has a bed in their office? Lazy sack of bones. How soon are you done? Five o'clock. So half an hour. Oh, look at you, so committed. You're just avoiding the furniture. I don't do, I, I'm on work hours. I'm not doing personal errands. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's gonna put that together tonight for me. He said it doesn't look that hard. Tell them about the last time I put together furniture. What did you say? How did I put it together? No, that was the first time you put together furniture. But well, how did I put it together? Backwards, you put together two <laughs> Ikea chairs. Ikea. <laughs> Completely. I, I feel like Ikea directions are actually sometimes really hard to follow. So Steven has started, Bubba's is overseeing him, literally overseeing him, and he is putting the cabinet together. Bubba's is tapping out Morris code on the window to the neighbors. Bubby, what's out there? What's going on? SOS, <laughs> save <laughs> us. <laughs> Next is smoke signals. Oh God, don't get them fire. Although we, I, I am going to burn some of those boxes in the fire <laughs> You are the cute. He is seriously one of the cutest dogs. Don't tell him that. Fix your ear. Fix your ear. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. You're so cute. 
<laughs> it's driving you nuts. I'm not petting you. I know. Oh, scratchy, scratchy. All right, you continue to oversee. Yes, please. You know the rules. I know. I'm not allowed to be present. This is the new cabinet. I absolutely love it. Um, it's a lot deeper than I thought, which I kind of love. I'm gonna accessorize it. I've already started like putting books, some other things I have for accessorizing it, laying around. And first we're gonna eat dinner though. So I already started styling the top and I'm in love with it. So I went through and just collected a bunch of books and I knew I wanted like a terracotta color, black grays and creams. So I have another stack over there of all the same colors, but I'm really happy with it. This is from Studio McGee. This is from Studio McGee. This is from Anthropology. And then I have this lamp. Here's one of my favorite tricks. So there is no outlet on this wall, but I knew I wanted a lamp there. So I have this little remote. I can turn it off and on because inside of it is a rechargeable puck light. And I just set it where the light would normally go. And I have a lamp. Best hack if you do not have a outlet where you want to put a lamp. I'll leave my puck lights that I love for that down below. They're rechargeable, they're on a remote. One thing I think that we forget is that you can put art in the back of shelves and it adds a lot of detail so it kind of breaks up the background. Oftentimes I think if you were to walk in, you would see someone stack them like super perfectly. I think it's sometimes really nice when they're not stacked so perfectly. So I kind of staggered them. I'm thinking this vase, although that might be too many dots. And I got this little sign. I don't love that in that spot. What this really needs is like something from that like clay terracotta family. So let me peruse the house and see what I can find to go there. So for that shelf, I just found a bowl and then to get that terracotta color in, I just switched out the bottom book and I feel like that really works. Have a vision for what I want this to look like. So let me play with this a little bit. For right now, I think this is where I've landed. So on this shelf, just a stack of books, I found that little arrangement. I think that I like it. Yes, I do really like it, but this vase needs to come this way a little bit. All right, so that is how I styled it. I really do like it. It looks really, really good. Yay! Okay, so I didn't love the graphic sign that was down there, so I replaced it with like this ostrich egg looking thing. I like that so much more. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy with it. Also, we have to open our countdown to spring calendar. So now we're opening day five, and it is a liquid hand wash. Beautiful. We kind of have like pillow and blanket overload, and he is making himself. He had a hard day. How did he have a hard day? Bubby. Bubby, was it a hard day? He went on a walk. And slept all day. Look how good that cabinet looks. Ugh, my heart is happy. You saw that I ordered this neck wrap from Anthropology, um, and it smells like lavender. So right now I'm just heating it up. Um, you do about like 45 seconds, and then flip it over, rotate it, so it heats up evenly and then I'm heading off to bed. I hope that you guys all had a great day. Today's been a really busy, productive, fun day. I love any day where I get to make my house feel a little bit more like us. 
Uh, I got a lot of joy from that, and I like when Steven really is happy with the way the house looks, so that was a lot of fun. If you guys have decorating ideas or suggestions you guys want, please reach out to me. Let me know in the comments down below. Once again, flood the comments with all that you are grateful for. Today I'm grateful for each of you who give me this outlet to share what I love most, um, which is pretty simple. But I'll end it like I leave them all, my friends. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.